Hi, Paul from Twist and Shout here. It's Friday. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday, Record Store Day 2018, in addition to which it is Twist and Shout's 30th anniversary. Um, so we have a lot to be thankful for and a lot to celebrate. There's a ton of great stuff coming out tomorrow. And I'm going to do my yearly look at some of the releases that are coming out. There's hundreds. Um, this is just a tiny drop in the bucket, but here's a few. Led Zeppelin, one of the most important rock bands ever. Two unreleased songs, Rock and Roll and Friends, uh, taken from Jimmy Page's recent work in the archives. This should do really well. Flaming Lips, Our Old Friends. Um, they've done a lot of Record Store Day pieces. They've been really good to independent uh, record stores and we love them. This is called The Story of Yum Yum and Dragon. It's adorable. Pink vinyl. Looks really cute. This is going to be a biggie. Run the Jewels, LP and Killer Mike. This is a limited edition uh, box set with a new 12 inch a clear etched vinyl and then two sided turntable slip mat stickers and looks like other things too. It looks super cool. It's going to go fast. Uh, there's several reissues. Big part of Record Store Day are these amazing reissues and it's the part that I mean many people live for that. There's several by this great group Samand. If you're not familiar with them they are one of the great unknown uh, English African hybrid soul bands from the 70s and several of their records are getting reissued tomorrow. Star Wars picture disc of Porg. I had to ask somebody because I didn't know who it was but it's very cute. Uh, that should be a big item. As always the jam band people we Record Store Day takes care of you. No, no difference this year. Grateful Dead, Live, 69, Fillmore. This is going to be a good one. Uh, beautiful artwork as always. And their younger brothers, Fish, Billy Breeze, possibly the most lovely cover ever. Uh, a great album, though. I really love that one. Uh, here is a classic piece. Cheech and Chong, pot-shaped, uh, pot-leaf-shaped 10-inch uh, or 7-inch. It's bigger than 7. I'd say it's a 9-inch. Uh, limited to 4500 totally cool I mean Cheech and Chong pot there you have it uh, two different cure reissues this time here's the picture disc of oops uh, uh, mixed up um, and it's picture disc you see and there's another cure one too last year that the cure reissues just blew out so I'm sure those will do well uh, here's a classic classic album um, cult album that's been super hard to find cost uh, hundreds of dollars to get the original uh, Baby Huey this is a soul classic from the early 70s uh, Baby Huey died young it's a really great album um, I know all soul collectors are gonna want that it's such a hard record to get Tom Waits one of our favorites is doing three different reissues he's broken his orphans box set into three distinct albums, Ballers, Brawlers, and Bastards. Here's uh, Brawlers. There's going to be three different packages. Fantastic uh, songs that weren't on the albums but are just as good as, as the stuff he did release. Um, Uncle Tupelo, uh, No Depression Demos. Um, that's uh, Jay Farrar and uh, Jeff Tweedy who both went on to huge careers. Um, they kind of helped invent uh, what we call alt country. Uh, this is such important stuff, really huge. Beautiful U2 picture disc. U2 has always been good to us on Record Store Day. Another one, two new songs on that. That should do real well. Now we're getting down to the ones I'm most excited about. <clears throat> Neil Young, Tonight's the Night, Live at the Roxy. This unbelievable tour from 73. Neil Young at his ragged best. It's a beautiful recording. There, in, in bootleg world, there are no good recordings from this tour. This is really something special. Uh, it's a fantastic recording. Uh, my two most favorite ones are coming up next, and that will finish this video. Frank Zappa, Lumpy Gravy Primordial. This is the original um, classical piece that he recorded in 1968. 
and then was told he couldn't release it for contractual and probably musical reasons and was made to go back and recut it as the now familiar lumpy gravy. This is, however, the original uh, primordial classical instrumental piece that he did. It's amazing. If you like avant-garde music, if you like Edgar Varese or Sun Ra or anything like that, this is a really important piece. And most important to Twist and Shout, Jason Isbell and the 400 Unit live at Twist and Shout. This was recorded in 2007. It was released as a CD for a short time and then went out of print. It's been a real collector's item since then. Um, it's got six songs. Um, it's a beautiful in-store that Jason did here at the store um, shortly after leaving Drive-By Truckers and shortly before his solo career really took off. So this is a really interesting transitional period for, for him. It also ends with an absolutely beautiful cover of Van Morrison's Into the Mystic. Essential piece and a piece that means a lot to us here at Twist and Shout. So that, as I mentioned, is just scratching the surface. There are hundreds of things. There's going to be a big line. There's going to be a lot of good vibes and good cheer. Uh, we'll have breakfast burritos and coffee and so forth for the first people and uh, cake and, and stuff like that during the day and giveaways and all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's a day not to be missed and um, with it being Twist and Shout's 30th anniversary, uh, I really feel like this is going to be the best and most special record store day. So happy record store day everybody. See you tomorrow.